Okay, so let's solve another problem, boing, boing. You are watching an object that's moving in SHM, or in simple harmonic motion. When the object is displaced uh, 0.6 meters um, from to the right of its equilibrium position, it has a velocity of 2.20 meters per second to the right, and an acceleration of 8.40 meters per second squared to the left. How much farther from this point will the object move before it stops momentarily and then starts to move back to the left? So what we want to determine in this problem is uh, the total distance for this object um, to reach um, that particular point where it will momentarily stop and it will return to its original to um, it starts to move back. So, ano yung position na yun? Ano yung position na to? Before it stops momentarily and um, then it starts to move back to the left. Ano yung position na yan? Ano yan? That position is, remember, di ba? Babalik-balik. At the pinaka-extreme na point, dun siya magre-reverse ang direction. That extreme point is your amplitude. So, So therefore, what you want to determine here is the distance um, from that particular position, um, equilibrium position, uh, from, from 0.6 meters to the amplitude. So yun yung kailangan natin hanapin. Hence, what we want to determine in this problem is the amplitude. I'll just show you the solution in this problem. Okay. So, okay, so again, in the problem, at, at 0.6 meters, at x equals 0.6 meters, the velocity is 2.20 meters per second to the right. And we will assume a coordinate system where in the to the right direction is the one that's positive and to the left direction is the one that's negative. Hence, the displacement and the velocity are positive, whereas the acceleration um, is negative. And therefore, A equals negative 8.40 meters per second squared. So in that case, you have that. Now, uh, in the problem, the, the the mass of the spring mass system is unknown. You are you do not know it. Um, you also don't know the angular frequency of the system, but you can determine that angular frequency. Pa, no. Recall that a equals negative omega squared x. Remember that uh, that the angular frequency is the proportionality constant of the acceleration and the displacement, and therefore I have my acceleration, uh, and I have I have my displacement, and I have my acceleration here, and therefore I can solve for my omega. Omega is just equal to negative um the square root of the negative. Okay, so this is negative of a over x raised to one half, which is just equal to negative of. Uh, minus 8.40 meters per second squared all over um, 0.6, ah, sorry, um, tama, 0.6 meters uh, raised to one half. And then from there, one can show that omega is simply 3.74 regions per second. Okay. So already know the angular frequency without actually knowing the spring constant k and the total mass m. We don't know that. But we, again, what we only need here is the angular frequency. Now, recall, recall that the velocity and position and displacement pala are related. Again, we have here um, B equals plus or minus omega square root of A squared minus X squared. And um, uh, for a certain velocity and position, you can determine the amplitude. In fact, we can show that this is a V over omega quantity squared equals A squared minus X squared. And thus, and thus one can show that, sorry, one can show that x is simply, uh, sorry, a, sorry, it's equal to square root of x squared plus v over omega quantity squared. Tama? Tama? And hence, I can just substitute the obtained angular frequency and the position and the velocity that's given. In fact, this is just a is equal to um, um, 0.6 meters quantity squared multiplied by V over omega, this is 2.20 meters per second all over 3.74 regions per second quantity squared, all of them, you add them, and then you get their square root. Okay, and then when you do that, one can show that the, the, the amplitude 
A is equal to 0.840 meters. This is uh, what we want. Hindi pa ito pala yung hinahanap natin. Kasi uh, the amplitude is what we want, but what we actually, uh, what's actually needed to be determined in this problem is uh, what we need to determine is the distance from x to a. And therefore, we just need to subtract at a minus x, which is simply 0.840 meters minus 0.600 meters. And therefore, the distance, hence the distance, is um, 0.240 meters. This is the answer that we want. Okay? Mali now? Mali na ba tong problem na to? Is this clear? Any questions? May tanong ba? Wala? Wala? Okay, wala. Thank you.